Welcome back, everybody. I'm going to show you how to get Russo's Sword of Truth, the blue sword here in RB Battles, as a part of this whole event. So the game here is Build a Boat. The link is in the description. First of all, I mean, if you're new here, you can just build a very simple boat. If you get in here with some friends, it might actually work out, but you might also have some other problems if people are clicking on the books and everything. So I don't know. Uh, you know, this might be easier by yourself. Uh, it might be a little bit more challenging with other people, but if they they have good boats it's not like you need a good boat you just have to get past this first part so build a small boat and then launch yourself and in this very very first area if you go off a little bit to the left side there is a waterfall there in the corner so uh all you have to do is just basically you know survive abandoning your boat and make yourself off to the waterfall so you will actually heal every now and then so if you kind of leave your avatar there for a while you will build some life back there is a little bit of leniency here sometimes if you kind of lose some stuff uh you'll be able to do all right but if you come in here if you hit the books in the wrong order guys you see like this one's already open i'm going to show you how to do it see these potions here the yellow red pink blue green those are the colors that you want to hit on the books in that order in order to open the first door so you follow those potions uh right here it's going to be right here this yellow this red this pink this blue and this green those are what you're supposed to hit in order to open that first door okay so my friend here obviously helping out shout out to all these guys who helped out now there's a second door you have to go into the second room and then after you go in the second room go back into the first room now there was a clue here in the very last uh episode of rb battles uh they showed some colors on a note and those colors were orange green black purple black so orange green you want to hit the and then the black book and then the purple one and then the black book again now when you do that you're going to hear a little sound a little doo -doo -doo -doo, and then you can see this little door back there is going to open up so when this door opens up it's basically going to have this little blaster you don't want to get hit by the blaster so watch out but the blaster is going to open up a little door there in the floor for you guys to go through so now all you have to do is go through that little floor here in that section just just wait a second just don't try not to die. make sure you don't die from the blaster you want to make sure you can serve as much of your life as possible at this point because you're gonna have to do a little bit of survival mode here guys we're gonna have to go up against a robot we're battling a robot it's gonna be pretty intense uh but it's okay it's not really too bad and it's not too hard so if you guys actually end up doing those books incorrectly some things will come out and try to kill you i would recommend get behind the bookshelf uh if anything just go right back to it uh but here you're gonna come to the second floor here you have to do an r on the first one see how it's green right there uh this would be a good time maybe to do a screenshot just to show how to do all of these but there's an arrow that points down there's a b there's a screenshot time pause it right here look at what you have to do in order to turn all of these green to be able to go down so there's an r there's a down arrow and then there's a b so here make sure you don't fall off because if you fall down there it's going to reset you it's going to kill you and you're going to have to go back to the beginning so don't do that okay do not fall off there okay so right here just go through this little portal and then you go through this portal it takes you over here to this little computer that uh wants to battle you think okay yeah you won you got this but there's still a little bit more work to do uh so this thing it works in a certain pattern and it works sort of locally and also globally this is also I want to give a huge shout out to the developers on what they created here because this is one of the best boss battles that I have seen in Roblox, honestly, and the way it works flawlessly locally and globally is amazing. So I've kind of upped the time here. Just make sure you avoid these things. Go through all these little pillars. These things are going to come towards you. Uh, if you get hit and you get knocked off, it's actually a little bit lenient. You can lose some life. You can get knocked off. But when you get knocked off, you sort of bounce forward. And we'll see that here later in the video. So uh, uh, at the second part, you just want to jump over these little lasers. And then over here, now you see these little uh, blocks that start rising in the air. Those blocks give you a little bit of height so that you can jump over these things. So this is a little tricky. It's going to take a little bit of your, you know, MLG-ness. But also, if you use your ML genius, it's not it's not really too hard. So if you fall off, again, you're going to be okay. But if there's some red spots, get to the white spots. Because that's where you're going to be 
better off. I don't know. Are those flying saucers? I'm not really sure what those are. But here, as I promised, I'm going to show you guys some examples. When you fly off, you may bounce up in the air. So when you hit the spot in the ground, I guess it's sort of like a trampoline sort of thing. But you also lose some power. So try not to uh, die doing that. And I managed to get back. So uh, this part acts locally. It's going to follow you around. Now listen to what it says. And like basically listen to the audio. And when it goes, you can see when it's going to shoot at you and just jump. Really, you don't really have to jump left or jump right, but if you can just find the right way to time it, you can jump. And then uh, sometimes you'll get hit. It's okay. You can see there, I've, I've gotten hit a couple times. Just avoid the red squares because the red squares are going to fall down. The white squares are safe. Stay on the white squares. Now, some of these, like this thing just keeps shooting at you. It's just like this really big, long mini game. Right here, I actually have this at almost like two times speed. So this is going to take a little bit of time. And it's going to take a little bit of survival. But fortunately, at least everybody in the server can get the sword instead of just one person like the purple sword. Uh, so now you see this part, how it kind of like goes down. This is going to teach you to time it and then jump over it correctly. Because you're not going to have any jumping left or jumping right as an option. You're just going to have to make sure you time it correctly. So when you hear that little zapping sound, that really, really high-pitched squeal, you uh, just jump. Make sure you jump at that time. And also look at the colors of the fingers to know when to jump. So now this part, what it does, it's going to find one random player, basically, who is in the game. And it's going to follow them around. It's not too hard. Just wait till it turns red and then jump to another square. So uh, you can kind of control where it goes. I would recommend to make it easier for the people on the team, try to just kind of get squares that are kind of on the edges. Like right here, I'm going to wait. And it's red and then I jump away so just try to do that stuff don't try to make big holes so that people cannot kind of jump back and forth because this part would be a lot easier you see how here we have a hole left to right uh, like like platform that we can jump on so when the fist comes after us you can just jump left or right and you're not really in trouble so if there's big holes that you create with the previous part it makes that part a little bit more challenging so this next step is pretty much the last step see this self-destruct thing you have to get one of the players to move on top of that and you need to get the robot to hit the self-destruct button and then it goes uh oh it's not very happy because it self-destructed itself you stupid robot okay i'm sorry but you know he asked for it he saw the button i don't know where how the button showed up but whatever he got it anyways he's dead go up there get your sword touch that thing you see it on the bottom right you get the badge okay so now we have russo's sword of truth here uh now i mean for me this is the last sword it was the last sword for me to get actually i mean it was in opposite order of the videos but whatever go look at your avatar and in your inventory you will have russo's sword of truth right there if you guys are new i would love to have you subscribe and hit that notification bell and thank you so much for watching we will talk to you guys later